Hey everyone, it's Andrea here with Great Expectations Realty, and we are talking about what's going on in Ocala this week. I'm so sorry it was not yesterday. Normally I upload these on Mondays, um, but actually over the weekend I went to a, um, I think I put a video on it, I was looking a little crazy, but uh, I went to a, a real estate um, thing that my my real estate coach actually put on. Of course, there wasn't one last year. I would have definitely gone to it, but it was basically this weekend long event and it was, um, you know, just amazing, amazing information all in the real estate, um, real estate game, basically from all over the country. Um, uh, really, really amazing information. Uh, it was actually, um, much more downsized because of course we're still kind of socially distancing here as much as possible. Uh, so yeah, it was kind of, um, you know, a smaller event than, than past years, but it was still absolutely amazing, amazing information, really great speakers and really great information. One of my agents, she's kind of new and she asked me today, what was the biggest thing, uh, in my, entire career that really made the biggest difference. She's like, you know, is it, you know, um, I, I don't know. She just gave some kind of examples. And I'm like, honestly, the biggest thing with my real estate career has been education, getting as much education from as many places and people and books and, uh, whatever as possible is like the biggest, biggest thing you can possibly do. Educate yourself constantly, whatever field you're in really, uh, whether you're like a dentist or an attorney or a teacher or whatever, never, ever stop learning. And then you will be a master at your trade. I mean, why in the world are you even doing your business if you're not going to do the best you absolutely can for yourself and the people that you serve? I mean, honestly. Um, but that's just my philosophy. So um, that being said, I was uh, spending the weekend getting in as much information as possible in as short as time possible and making connections and stuff. And those are the people that I actually use um, to help you guys all throughout the country too, because you know, listening to these people that really are trying to hone their craft and really trying to um, educate themselves, those are the people that you want as your realtor. And those are the people literally every single bathroom break, I was over there passing out my business cards and getting theirs so that I could have those referrals from like, you know, if you're coming over from Colorado or New York or New Jersey or whatever, um, and you need to sell your house, that's the person that I would recommend to you or is the one that's really, really trying to be a professional in their field. Those are the ones that are really going to have their systems, their processes, and their information and education down pat. So, all right, I'm going to get off of that, but that's basically what I was doing um, over the weekend. So, of course, yesterday I was playing catch up, trying to, <laughs> trying to get caught up with everything and trying to just um, assimilate all the information into my poor little brain. It was a little painful. Um, I took 35 pages of notes. My husband took another 24 pages of notes. Um, and he writes really small. So that was basically like 50 pages of notes. <laughs> uh, but we just got so much great information. And there's a lot of stuff that we really want to implement to better serve our customers. So really kind of excited about all of that going on. Um, stuff going on in Ocala. That's what you're actually looking at, right? Um, one of the major things that just happened before the Ocala City Council is the approval for some new apartments. Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I don't have my regular stand. I put it somewhere. I don't know where. Anyway. Oh my goodness. I'm sideways crooked. Oh, good grief. Woo. Okay. I'll try not to make drastic gesture. That's impossible. I'm going to make drastic gestures. Anyway, so we got, um, a hundred new apartments coming in and that's actually going to be downtown. So it's over, um, on Southeast eighth street between Southeast third Avenue and Osceola Avenue. Um, but it's going to be 102 units. Um, that all came about on the May 18th meeting of the Ocala city council. So really excited about that. Um, it's kind of depressing <laughs> when you see Consider how many apartments in the last 10 years, 10 years, a full decade in Ocala, um, there's only been like 600 apartments that have come into the, I mean, that is so bad. So, I mean, that's kind of embarrassing. We actually need about 2,400 apartments like right this very second in order to keep up with the rental demand that's going on. So if you are a landlord, today is your day. It's great. Um, even with these hundred units that aren't even ready yet or built yet or anything like that, um, we're still shy over 2000 units that we're going to actually need just for today. So yeah. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, so basically Marion County real estate still booming. It kind of slowed down a little bit and then it just kind of, you know, continued right on its merry way. So not sure what that was about, uh, but let's see yesterday's numbers. We're going to go over yesterday's numbers because it's not fair to uh, do a Tuesday numbers and when we're normally doing Monday. So, um, yesterday's numbers, we had 58 new listings and 102 went pending. So way far wrong direction there. Um, today's numbers are 71 new listings and 72 pending. Now I did have a question, Doug, I'm totally calling you out on this, but I did have a question today from one of our buyers. He's like, Hey, you know, how come I'm finding more stuff on like Zillow and Trulia and stuff than what you guys are finding? We're finding to the minute houses. You're finding stuff that's two or three days old. And most of those are already under contract or, you know, it's stuff that we looked at and we're like, okay, that's not really what you're wanting. So, you know, if we have it wrong, you know, if we're sending you houses or whatever, and we've got like the wrong thing in there, let us know so we can, you know, fix that. But at the same time, of those 71 new listings that came out today, we're looking at it like almost hourly to see exactly what's coming and what's hitting the market. And we're trying to find out what's coming before it even hits the market. Um, so like, you know, 71 listings, that's nothing. That's the entire county. That just came out today. And again, that's rentals, that's vacant land, a lot of vacant land, just saying. Um, a lot of commercial properties. That's everything combined. Plus that's like million dollar properties. One of them was like 3 million. Another was over a million. Most people are not really in that price range. Mind you, I don't mind if you're in that price range because we do actually have a lot more in that price range than in other price ranges right now. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of why we literally just, you have to be like right on top of it and right in there. Um, otherwise it's already gone. Like even if it says it's available, it's not available. They just haven't clicked pending yet. It's really just annoying when that happens. Uh, so if you are looking for, um, a new property to purchase, um, definitely let us know, but yeah, it's, um, it's a thing. <laughs> Okay, so something else that I saw hit the market. I gotta try and find it again. Did I get it right? Hold on, let me set. Okay, there it is. Okay, so, so <laughs> something new that hit the market is a nineteen million dollar property over in Micanopy. Mind you, you're like, really? Micanopy? Seriously? Okay, like what's out there? Well, apparently there is a $19 million property out there. No, I am not the listing agent. I really wish I was, but it's been on the market for four days. Um, it's been like the talk of the county and even like other counties. Like my friend Krista over in Orlando was like, you got a $19 million property in Ocala? And I'm like, well, technically it's Micanopy, which is actually not saying anything. It's actually like even more rural. Um, but this is actually like a French country estate. Um, it is like crazy amount. It's 1,774 plus acres. Okay. This is like almost 2000 acres. Like you can have an entire city and <laughs> it's like huge, huge, um, of the, that's the lake. It's like massive. Um, what is it? It sits on 1,968 private acres. Okay. So it's basically a 2000 acre property. Um, and it is this huge, massive mansion. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so it's only a five bedroom, five bathroom house, which doesn't seem feasible since it's like humongous, massive. Um, it's over 7,000, it's almost 8,000 square feet, um, under heat and air. And it is, um, uh, almost 11,000 total area. So it's just crazy. It is absolutely crazy. Really amazing size, um, house. And it's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, just thought I would go ahead and share that information, uh, with you guys. If you are interested in purchasing a 19 million nine hundred thousand dollar property i am the agent for you i would be more than happy to help you out with that uh but yeah that is over there there is also i thought there was one over in jockey club as well i don't know is there two 
I don't know. It's crazy. So yes, we do have incredibly nice properties because if you took that same property, you popped it over into Miami, you couldn't like, it, it would be like astronaut. It would be like a hundred million dollar property. It would be like ridiculous. So, um, speaking of, if you wanted to go to the Satay, Satai, I don't know how you even pronounce that. It's S E T A I Satai, I don't know, but it's over in Miami beach. But if you've ever wanted to vacation like a celebrity, you could actually do that over in the uh, Miami retreat. Um, celebrities such as Madonna and Simon Cowell have paid $30,000 or more per night to hang out over there. That is uh, a little bit more than my last vacation. I don't know about you guys, but oh, wow. I think not. All right, so what else is going on? Why in the world is our real estate market here in Marion County booming? Why? Well, um, obviously, we have the new jobs that come to the county, like FedEx, Amazon, Chewy. Um, we have the World Equestrian Center. Just to give you an idea, basically, the equestrian um, community, I would say, not just the World Equestrian Center, but the actual um, equine community, equine, equine community. Anyway, it actually provides $2.6 billion per year for our county. That's a lot of money. So it is a booming industry here. Um, it, it really is. So 2.6 billion, that's a B, not an M. So that is a huge, huge, huge part of our community, a like huge. So yeah, um, there is an increased demand for buyers in all levels. <laughs> Whether you're down here with me or you're like way up there with, you know, with them, it, we have buyers coming for all levels. Um, some of them would just like, you know, a country estate, you know, because they're coming to the World Equestrian Center so often. Um, some of them are coming here for the work that it provides. Some of them are coming because of some of the many, many other jobs that are available through the distribution centers that are up and down the I-75 corridor. There's just a lot of different stuff. Another big impact on the market is the millennial homeowners. Those are actually homeowners now, the millennials. Yeah, I'm like one of those aged, decrepit millennials. My daughter insists that I am not a millennial, but I was born in 1980, so I think I am, like, maybe. Some some of it says yes, and some of it says no. I don't know. Am I a millennial or am I not? I don't know what I am. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm like a decrepit, aged millennial if I am one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they make up 38% of homeowners today. So basically the millennials, whether they're decrepit or, you know, um, young ones, um, they are the homeowners that we have. And what's really crazy is I remember going to the realtor conventions and all of the, the people were like, oh, millennials, you know, don't even worry about them because, you know, they're not going to be homeowners. They're going to be in like townhouses and condos and apartments forever. They don't want to buy blah, 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 blah. Everybody wants to purchase their own home. At least once in your life, you want to own your own home. It is the biggest impact to financial freedom for your family. Of course, they're going to buy homes. And guess what? I was right. They were wrong. It's just, it's happening now. So 38% of homeowners today are actually millennials. Um, and that actually, you can actually check those numbers. You don't know an easy way to do that. You check U-Haul. <laughs> because guess who uses U-Haul? Young people. Older people. And maybe that means I'm a, I don't want to use U-Haul. Like I do use U-Haul, but at the same time, do I really want to? I don't know that in the next move I'm going to use them. I don't want to move my own couch. Like my husband yelling at me to pivot, it, that's not a fun thing, okay? Like seriously. So <laughs> probably not. But young people, of course, they're going to use U-Haul. So if you check the U-Haul stats of who's moving to, um, you know, Ocala and from where, that's basically that age range of uh, like my age and younger and hopefully fitter and not with a heart condition. Yeah, those people are the ones that are moving their couches themselves and putting them up on the truck and doing all that themselves. So it's just kind of an interesting bit of information. We got so many people coming on down here um, and they are moving themselves in, which means they are probably able to move that couch in themselves and they are probably more along the lines of my age and younger. So that means millennials. Um, so yeah, it used to be like, everybody would be asking me, oh, is Ocala like a place for older people? No, that's not even a question anymore. Of course, it's a lot of younger people moving down here more and more every single day because the jobs and the job market is phenomenal. And all of the things that they have for families and kids here is just absolutely amazing. So 
Anyway, uh, we do have increasing mortgage rates and prices, and it's going to change the affordability over the course of the next year or so. Um, I've been warning you guys and warning you guys, the only place that the mortgage, mortgage rate can go and the interest rate can go is up. It's ridiculously low. It's still ridiculously low, but you might want to get up on that if you're going to, because that will change. So hurry up. So yeah, even if um, the house prices have gone up, those interest rates are still pretty low, which means if you wanted to get more bang for your buck with the house right now and you're financing it, you probably still are gonna be able to do that easier now than if we go into a percentage rate that is like double or triple what it is now because that's going to change your monthly rate and you're not gonna be able to afford it then. So even if the house price is lower later and the interest rate is higher, it's basically not even going to break even. You're going to end up paying a heck of a lot more for that house later on. So just a heads up. Uh, things going on in Ocala. Uh, let's see. What have we got going on in Ocala? Uh, we've got a Florida Georgia line is coming to town. I actually have no idea who that is, but I'm sure you guys know who that is. So Florida Georgia Line is coming to town. They are going to be at the Ocala Drive-In. Yes, we have a drive-in. Yes, it is awesome. And yes, we do have concerts and stuff there. And of course, it's socially distanced because you're in your own car. Okay, um, other things going on. We actually have at the Lodge downtown, we've got Trivia Night. And we've also, that's on Tuesday, so tonight. Um, also tonight is karaoke night over at Loco's Pub, which is over on, um, it's on 40, or we also call it Silver Springs Boulevard. Um, what else? Thursday, we've got our farmer's market, and that's at 9 a.m., and that's pretty cool. Um, there's actually a lot of farmer's markets around town, and they're on different days, so if you want to do it at a farmer's market, like, every day of the week, you probably could. Watermelons are in season right now. I saw them picking the other day. And like, it was crazy. It was just like this line of people and they were just tossing watermelons down the line and into the truck and into the truck. I was like, wow, that, you gotta think that that is like, that's gotta be the best workout ever. And what happens when they drop one? Cause those don't bounce, but I don't know. The whole time I was there, I never saw them drop one. So, uh, what else? Thursday, we also have the million dollar quartet live on stage at the Ocala Civic Theater. And on Thursday, we also over at the beach, we've got DJ Bingo. And I think that's about it, which is kind of crazy because, you know, we've got, you know, the weekend coming up. Isn't this a holiday weekend? So, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot more stuff going on this weekend, but that's all that I have written down. So I'm going to assume everybody's going to be at the beach. Personally, on holidays, I do not go to the beach like at all because everybody else is there. Why in the world would I want to go to the beach when everybody under the sun is there and traffic's a nightmare? No, I can go to the beach 364 days a year. I don't know. I just don't go on the holidays because I like to enjoy it and you can't enjoy it if it's like all crowded and you know, you're worried about getting stepped on and stuff. That's crazy. So we don't go normally during this time of year. We have, you know, stay staycations. <laughs> That's a word, right? Staycation. Um, so we just kind of, you know, hang out at home. Um, this week, my sister and my daughter are going over to Orlando, though, and they're going to hang out with friends, and I'm working all weekend. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but, yeah, Monday is a holiday, and I believe we are off. I'm not sure I'm working, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ah, what can you do? All right. Well, I think that is it for us. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely let me know. I am definitely making some changes um, to the YouTube channel a little bit. I want you guys to be able to like meet with me. I mean, I do answer questions anytime there's comments or whatever. Um, I'll, you know, react and, and comment and back and stuff like that. But at the same time, it would be really cool to see your faces. You get to see mine. It's only fair. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually trying to set up, uh, meetings with you guys. So, you know, phone calls are nice, but actually like, you know, communicating with you guys, the ones that are actually coming down here, especially it's so weird. You know, I'll walk into a room and like I'm meeting with somebody that I've set up an appointment with and they know who I am. And I'm like, Pam, Tina, are, is that you? You know, like, I have no idea. It's not fair. So, 
I want to set up some um, actual <laughs> appointments with you guys and do like FaceTime or Zoom or something, you know. So even if we're not uh, neighbors here in Ocala yet, or we soon will be, at least we can like get to know each other a little bit better. So um, I am going to be setting that up with you guys um, as much as possible and doing more live events. So if you do have questions about Ocala, you can ask them to your heart's content. So get those questions ready. Uh, I guess that's about it for tonight. You guys have a great evening and I will see you soon. Bye.